less than a year since Baker Street Blues made their first appearance on the Nelson scene, but in that time, they've already made their mark. The blues band was formed by brother-in-laws Phil Wilson Burks and Stelio Clagius, along with two other local musicians who round out the group. Mike Bennett, who's an amazing lead guitar player, Malik Mudo, who's our drummer. The band has only been in existence for about nine months. We've done how many, how many shows this year already, Phil? 35. I'm exhausted just thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> the jam sessions for these blues brother-in-laws began 25 years ago in St. Albert, Alberta, during Collegius' annual summer visit from Toronto to see the Wilson Burks family. Whenever we would go out there, uh, we would um, share the love of music. He's a bass player, guitar player, singer, and uh, we would play music together. And uh, after an extended period of time of doing that, we've always had this dream of one day, hey, Phil, one of these days we're going we're gonna to have to do this together in the, in the yeah. same group. Now that dream is finally a reality, and things really couldn't be better. After less than a year together, with 35 area shows performed, Baker Street Blues is currently working on their first album, featuring 10 original songs, which they hope to release in time for Christmas. The rock and blues dance band is also already looking ahead to next year's International Blues Music Day, as well as upcoming local festivals. The festival circuit, I think that's where, I mean, that's where you really get to shine with your original material. And we have enough right now, so we've got a few shows. Uh, in some festivals, uh, it would be great to feature all that original material. Beyond that, um, it's just to play as much as we can because uh, the more you play, the better you get. And uh, I'm not really sure what the ultimate goal is, but uh, just keep going and see what happens. Want to get the Juno? Get the Juno, yeah. While dreams of a Juno may dance in their heads, these musicians remain grounded and grateful for the opportunity to make their lifetime dream a successful reality. Personally, uh, you know, there, we have gotten such an unbelievable amount of satisfaction of finally being able to do this project together and sharing the responsibilities has just been an, just a tremendous joy for us. Yeah, and many, many, many of those pinch me moments on stage looking across the stage. Oh, Can't believe yeah, that we're all the time. on stage together. I mean, we, we used to have these basement jams and Phil's kids, you know, they were just little tots like this big and, and, and now, you know, they're grown mature adults and here we are, you know, 35 years later and we're, we're really doing it, doing it right. If you haven't had a chance to check out Baker Street Blues yet, they do have a few Nelson performances coming up. November 23rd, they'll be at the Royal for Cabaret Night. December 2nd, they play Finley's, and then they're back at the Royal for a New Year's Eve dance party on December 31st. For more information on Baker Street Blues and their upcoming CD release, visit their website at bakerstreetblues.ca. For Go in Nelson, I'm Christina Kruczkowski.